to see where we're going to build our new castle. No, we haven't even gotten in the car yet. I heard it isn't that far. Come on, get in the car and put on your seatbelt, Ella. With Dad's driving skills, I'm going to need it. What did you just say? Okay, this is where meditation comes in handy. Um... Whatever! Are we there yet? Almost! Shut up, child! What about now? No, and if you ask me again, then we're going to have some issues. You said no, no word. We didn't raise our child to speak like this. Agreed. So, are we like... If you don't stop asking me... Meditation, namaste. Palace this, castle that. There isn't that. ever a day where we actually agree on stuff. Shut up! Don't tell me what to do! Everyone just cut it out already. See... Patience pays off. We've arrived. Aww, this looks so good. Is this our new castle? No, your dad still has to build it. Bruh. Watch where you step or you'll get mud on your dress, Ella. Wait, Mom? Why am I blonde again? Is this really the time to be asking that? Yes. Wait, yeah, I'm not blonde, I'm bacon. So why is our daughter blonde? Uh, I don't think this is the right place to discuss this. Let's talk about this later. Did you get with another man? I said, let's just build. Okay, okay, fine. Let's get to building. It looks like it's gonna start raining soon, and this is going to take a while.
is cute. I told you we have to be proper now. Proper this, proper that. Ella, respect your mother. Yo is not in a future princess's vocabulary. <gasps> princess? You really think I'll become a princess? You ain't a princess. Well, we do have a castle now, don't we? We just have to prove to the pro and god builders that we can be as good as them. Well, there is only one way to find out. I can't believe this is the house I'll be living in for the next however months. I mean, or so you say, castle doesn't look like a... How should I say it? It doesn't look like a castle? Ah, uh, practically took the words right out of my mouth. I hate you. Wow, that's what I get for staying with you. All I want for Christmas is a divorce. As do I. I'm beginning to question why I didn't run away with that other man. Okay, okay, I get it. It's not the best, but it's the best we can do for now. I want to go inside! See, it doesn't look too bad now, does it? It's a roof on her head and I'm not complaining. Let's just leave him outside. There. This is what I should have done before you were born. We have arrived. So it's going to be just like a real palace, Mommy? Exactly. As real as a palace can get. Just like your dollhouses. Really? I love my dollhouses. Well, you're basically going to live in one. Will I have space for my dresses? Of course, Sugar Cube. So how exactly are we going to have a castle? I don't see one. <laughs> That's because I have to call in the architects and designers. We will have a magnificent palace before you know it. I can't believe just a day ago we were living in a cabin. The fairy godmother did make my wish come true. What's that, Alice? Nothing, Dad. I'm just excited! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's call the architects! So let's start building our pro house. First things first, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be building a driveway. I'm basically just planning out where I want everything to be. I also wanted a fountain in the middle of the driveway. Not sure how else to call it. I'm just setting out a little space over here and just getting a feel for the space that I have. And then I go on to building the shape.
had to choose what was the most difficult part to do, it was be probably doing this pathway. It was difficult to just think and imagine how it would be me placing these. And then I soon realized it was one block too far away and I had to redo it. I don't know. I, I was confused. And yeah, that's why I kept placing it and deleting it. And yes. Okay. I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> For the castle, I wanted to have a tiny pathway above water, so I kind of surrounded the palace with some water, a pool, whatever you want to call it, and I went from there. It was just trial and error. I added in some fencing, see how it looked, and then I started decorating the inside of the palace. So I wasn't really sure what I was going to do for the entrance, but I decided to do the entrance like walking in to like a living room area and a cozy area with a fireplace and some couches. And yeah, that's what I did. And I started decorating the inside of the palace. I feel like it's necessary to have a bathroom on the first floor, so I decided to make this little circular area into a mini bathroom. It was a tiny bit difficult because of all the curves in the bathroom, so I kind of did my best. I added as much detail as I could. I'm terrible with decorating bathrooms, but it turned out all right, and we went from there.
a tiny bit difficult to figure out where exactly I was going to put stairs to lead to the upstairs because everything was so tightly spaced but I decided to extend this wall a little bit and add in a spot for the stairs to lead upstairs. Wow, I said stairs a lot. And then I just colored in the living room and then moved on to the kitchen, I believe. but I ended up putting in a kitchen over here just like I said before. color scheme I decided to go with some dark grays and browns because I felt like that gave it a more of a medieval castle type of feeling. I wasn't sure what theme I was going for exactly I was just aiming for it to look good and so I went with those colors. what I could make this a circular place into so I kind of just decided to make it into like a pantry food place and I guess it turned out useful like the spacing I really not sure I just put in these things to fill up the space basically like the fireplace and the living room and then I went up to the second floor and decided to add in some flooring I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna add here but we did need a master bedroom so I decided to make a bedroom and a bathroom on this floor along with a little seating area and yeah that's where I went from there
honest, the bedrooms, bathrooms, and rooms in general of the castle were difficult to fit in furniture because they were all like half ovals, circles, whatever you want to call them. But I did my best to put in furniture and make it not look weird because of the shape of everything and so on. So yeah, now I'm working on the bathroom and then I'm going to go to the master bedroom. When I thought of a master royal king and queen bedroom, uh, I thought of like a dark red and I wanted to have a dark red color inside of the castle. So I decided to go with this design. I know it's not really my style, but I ended up really liking how it looked. So I kind of went with it and continued to color in the bedroom, added in a tiny bit of decoration and went from there. For the bedroom, I kept adding in some more decorations, including a candle, plants of course, and a few minor details.
And of course I did not forget about the plans. That is a necessity. <laughs> I finished up with most of the interior of the castle build and then I moved on to the outside. Now for the exterior of the build I wanted to have a fountain and I wanted to have plants and a garden and stuff like that. I wasn't really sure how exactly I wanted everything to be so it did take me a little trial of and error but I ended up really liking how it turned out. So yeah that's what we're going to be doing now. The exterior. Placing fences for the outline of the concrete pathway would be a little bit boring so I decided to add some bushes because it gave it a little bit more green color and more of a garden feel and more of a castle feel. I don't really know what I'm saying but it looked really nice. I loved how it came out and soon enough I began putting the bushes all around, created a pathway around the water so there was water source around the castle and it looked beautiful. So for the other side of the pathway, connecting the pathway and the water area, river, whatever you want to call it, I decided to add in these mini rocks and large stones because I felt like fencing would make it look a little bit boring. So I decided to use three different colored rocks and just place it all around. It looked really awesome at the end and I was really happy with how it came out, but it did take a little bit of time to do all this.
I decided to add in some trees to fill up the area and make it less empty. decided to add in this elegant fencing all around the palace and it enclosed it because no one would want to have an open palace to the public right and i added in this fence gate this was the first time i ever used this and it looked so pretty extra i also added in a gazebo because i felt like this area was a little bit empty and i just added the pathway with some decorations for gardening and so on So there was an empty room inside. I honestly didn't realize this until I made sure and checked. And so I made this into the dining room. You know how castles have like these really large dining rooms? Well, that's what I tried doing over here. And then to the other side, I don't quite remember what I did exactly. I think I made like a bathroom or I don't know. So I guess we're gonna find out. So right over here, I'm just making this L-shaped table for the dining room and it looks super fancy. I decorate the room a tiny bit and then we go from there. These towers outside, I needed to put in flooring because the inside of the palace was only like one floor, one ceiling high type of thing. And I decided to add in these windows along with doors around these like circular tower things because I felt like it gave it more dimension and shape, making it look fuller, done, however you want to call it, and give it a more palace feel like. That made no sense at all. Oh well. <laughs> What I'm basically doing now is adding in some lighting, of course, with linen lighting. And over here for this empty space room, I decided to add in like a library type of thing, but it was like a mini library. We didn't have that much space for it, but I thought it was cute addition to the castle because don't most castles have like a literal huge library? So I decided to add one in with a little sofa so you can read and sit down and enjoy a good book.
mushrooms to most of the rooms. I'm finishing up everything by adding in less colors and any lights that I forgot to add. We're pretty much done with the build. So here we go. It's time to tour it and continue this noob pro god. You were right. This looks just like the dollhouse I had when I was younger. It looks so pretty. I'm glad you like the outside. Uh, do you smell that? Yuck! What's that smell? Help! I can't wait to see the inside. Let's go, let's go! Now that looked so much better than I thought it would. The contractors really outdid themselves this time. It's like a dream come true. It sure is. Can we go inside? Can we go inside? I don't know what we're waiting for. Come on, let's go. I've got some paperwork I have to attend to. Come on, Mommy. I want to go play dress up. Wonderful day. It's night. Same thing. A perfect day to build. And the perfect place to build our soon-to-be castle. Are you sure living on land won't cause too much attention to us, hon? I doubt it. As long as we don't use our godly powers, I think we'll be fine. Mom, Dad, does it mean I'm not allowed to be the Cloud Prince anymore? Well, not exactly. We won't exactly be living in the clouds anymore, but you still are the Cloud Prince. Yes, what your father said. Why can't we just live in the clouds then? I mean, don't we have powers? Can't we just make a castle out of clouds? Yeah, but I do still think it's best if we try and fit in. Myself and your mother want to have a normal life. A normal life? I can bend clouds. Clouds in the sky, Dad. How will that ever be normal? Lucas, we've spoken about this before. Yeah, I know, Mother. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 let's not be so down. It's time to start building this castle of ours. Let's do it.
This looks so magical! The outside may look good, but can we check out the inside? Is that our son liking the build for once? Hey, don't flatter yourself yet, Dad. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's go inside. So, Lucas, now is it right to say the palace looks good? Okay, okay, you're right. This does look pretty awesome. Awesome? This looks magnificent! Well, I'm glad that both of you like it. Hey, look over there. Looks like we got some new neighbors who just moved in. May I introduce myself, father? Of course, son. Let's just make sure to skip the part where you say you're a cloud prince. Wait, how come? Let's just say that many of our neighbors may think we're crazy. And we're trying to fit in, not exactly trying to stand out. Yes, father. Yes, mother. Don't come home too late. Yes, sir. Well, 
Let's get going inside. I can't wait to move in. If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be a part of the Pandorana Habitat. Also, click that notification bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out!